or whatever the case may be. And it's done been many times where my mind will say to me to do something else with some money or what have you. Like, for instance, I'm going to give you all an example. I got a card, a gas card. I had a marathon. Wind blowing that does like that. I had a, um, a marathon. Um, that ain't nobody, but that's Scott in the... Scott, mute your phone. <laughs> Talking about that dusk in the back. That's her. I ain't get out. <laughs> mute your phone, because I got something for you anyway. Don't you go nowhere. That um, I got a marathon gas card that you get gas at the marathon, and you know they lost their account for whatever reason, and I had um you know a balance because I used it for gas. Let me tell y'all what the I'm enemy said. Everybody back because you're echoing. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so what what ended up happening was okay. I got you, Scott. But what ended up happening was this right here. Um, you got to unmute yourself now. Okay. She said, when you get ready to talk, you have to unmute yourself. Can you hear me? Yeah. She said, you have to. Believe. We need you to unmute yourself. Okay. Hold up. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So what happened, what I was saying was, was Can you I. you hear me? Yeah. All right, so can you hear me, Pastor? Yeah, I can hear you, but give me a second. Okay. All right, so let me tell y'all this, and I'm gonna let um I'm gonna let Scott say something. Um, I got a, that, that marathon card, right? They lost their contract. I had a balance still on the card. First thing came to my head, said. Well, they, they 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 ain't got that um you know account no more. Ain't no need of paying them. Integrity said, "You used that card and got gas, didn't you?" I said, "Yeah, I've been paying them off every month. I've been paying them. See, that's integrity. Now, that's not integrity I've always had." But that's integrity that I learned just by submitting myself. So I'm serious. Be very careful. Do the right thing. Character and integrity. Scott, what you got? Kelsey, you always calling me out on stuff. <laughs> but I'm going to be obedient. I done had to pull my car over on 431 going north. Because you said, it's just because you said, and you pour it to me every single day of the week. I had to pull this Toyota Corolla over so I could get on here and be obedient. <laughs> well, I have been on the live. I have, I'm have. i on the road, uh, headed to my mother's house, coming from um, the big, fast capital of the world, Eufaula, Alabama. And uh, I'm headed to go to, to speak in about a week or so. So I said I was going to go and uh, visit with her for a minute. But uh, I've been I've been on the line since uh, we started. And just to hear uh, the prophetic word of God come from both the women of God and to see that they are both in line with what God was saying through the scripture was such a blessing. Um, every day. We should be evaluating ourselves. Every day we should be saying, Lord, create in me a clean heart and renew in me a right spirit. So a lot of days, a lot of things that we go through is because we aren't in the right spirit. We are in the right mind frame. So for this uh, particular teaching, preaching to go forth, um, you know, sometimes we get so worried about what others are doing to us, but what are we doing to ourselves? And this one checked me, you know, a lot of days, um, I know, you know, uh, I give too freely to some people. And a lot of things that happen to me is because I give too freely um, to others, which that I am a giver at heart. But God gives me the discernment in order for me to uh, touch the lives of those that you have chosen for me to touch so that there won't be a backlash. And Lord, you know, um, when she said, she said something about um, uh, we take three steps forward and go two steps back. And it, it just 
spoke to my spirit uh, about we can win battles, but are we winning the war? That's what God spoke to me whenever he said that. You know, we can have yeah. small victories, but are we winning the war? And are we taking the steps necessary in Christ in order to win the full battle? So I uh, I appreciate Prophetess uh, Pastor Lee on today. I appreciate hearing from Apostle today. I have not heard Apostle's voice in forever. So it was such a pleasure to hear her too on the line covering all of us. Um, and then that submission thing, you ain't going to even go into that submission thing uh, because I'm one of those, uh, you know, that have been on disobedient and, you know, it's time to get in line. You know, I see God doing great things, but am I in position and do I have the right posture in order to receive the things of God? So woman of God, you called me out. I have pulled over on the side of the road and I appreciate you for not even, just not even leaving me out of the discussion. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad to be a part of this Zoom. Amen. That's the infamous Natasha Scott. All right. Okay. So I don't know why Mark can't. I'm waiting on her to tell me. Kata, where you at? here i almost forgot how to unmute it all right let's go um seeing that you know i've heard this amazing word today I, and i was trying to figure out like why god kept telling me it's time for a background check it's time for a background check. And so, I was like, okay, where do I start? And I believe it was, I, I think both, both of you and Apostle had said um, something about procrastination. And I can admit that I am, I get to, when I get to a place where I'm comfortable, I tend to procrastinate. I tend to procrastinate all the time. And um, it's just, I know now that that's a place that I'm going to have to start because in the season that we're about to go into, I can't just be comfortable. I just can't just procrastinate. And I know that I'm guilty of that. And I have a tendency, like, when I, when I don't feel like doing this thing, I don't like to push myself. I don't, I don't, it's, it's kind of hard. And then I also know that I have a bad, I've been working on my attitude. Like, I really have, like, a snappy attitude. And it's like, I don't mean it, but it's just, sometimes I'll just snap for no reason. Because I'm just, sometimes I can be overly sensitive. And just to hear about systems. Um, I know that it's some stuff that I gotta deal. I know it's some stuff that I have to deal with, as far as my attitude and procrastination. Um, also unforgiveness, and the journey is hard. Like it's really, really hard. And um, just to try and know try to become a better person when you know you know there's change that's needed but yet you still just look at yourself and be like I don't I don't know I don't know what I I don't it's it's oh man this is tough it's um hard sometimes for me to get out of my comfort zone because I don't like the feeling of un being uncomfortable but sometimes I just have to suck it up and just deal with it because I know that there is something that there is a purpose for me to like there is a purpose for me and I know that and I just have to get out of my 
get out of my own way sometimes. Because I know that's, that's the reason not why I don't move, because I like to settle. I like being comfortable. Being uncomfortable, I don't like being uncomfortable. And it's just, and it's just crazy to me. And um, just by you talking about system being the symbol of like bondage and following protocol and things like that, it's just, it's it, basically my toes stepped on today. I'm just not going to lie about it. My toes stepped on, and, but I need because I needed to wake up and be like, okay, it's time to move. Mm-hmm. It's time to it's time to come out of your comfort zone. You've been sitting here too long. Mm-hmm. There's no that, like there's no reason for me to be okay where I am because I know there's more. Yes. And I, that's something that I have that I've been dealing with for the past couple of months, really. I was like, you, you, I know there's more, but it's like, where do I start? And when you say, you know, you have to, you know, deal with my emotions, those are one of the things that I have to, like, deal with as well. Like, I'm an emotional being. Like, everything gets to me. Like, I don't, I don't know where that came from, but everything gets to me. And it's like, either I get angry or I get sad. I'm just an emotional person. And so just this whole just this whole word was just for me and I just I know there's a lot of work. But I know there's a lot of work that I'm gonna have to do before all this. Mm-hmm. Wait, this. Are you ready? Because if you're ready, I'm going to help you. Ma'am? I said, if you're ready, if you're ready, then there's an empowerment that's going to be available to help you. Amen. Yes, ma'am. And just going to start with the things that Pastor already talked about this morning. Get into proper alignment, protocol, and submission. Those three things right there are going to take the most of the power off of it. The Bible says, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. A lot of things we struggle with is because we're trying to resist the devil, but we've never submitted to God. Wow. Huh. We missed the first part of the, of the scripture. So we're doing our best to resist the devil, but we ain't never submitted to God. So you don't have the power or the enablement or the empowerment to help you do that. He ain't really resisting. He ain't really going, you can't really resist him because he already has studied you. But he, he has no choice but to flee from the presence of God. So when you submit to God, the battle, the greatest part of the battle is over. Wow. Apostle, yes, ma'am. Can you go in into the um participants and unmute? It's a four four three number. Unmute. Okay, I will unmute that number. She should be able to speak. Okay, there you go, Mark. All right. Good afternoon or good morning. I'm not sure what time it is there. (laughs) There were a couple of things that I wanted to say. First of all, Pastor Lee, thank you very much for persistence, and I had three opportunities to try to get on, and each time it shortchanged me and told me I didn't have the right number. The last number that you sent allowed me to get in, and I know it's Joshua 3, 1 through um, 9. Um, The counterfeit emotions is what you gave us on March 25th out of the book of James, the first chapter, verses 21 and 22. But today's lesson for me was perspective and there has to be an authoritative lead in order for you to be able to know where you're supposed to be going you can't hear from god if you're not submitted to authority that was one two positioning if you're in shittim you can't go to 
to uh, cross the Jordan. 